After being involved in a car accident, you experience a great deal of pain. You are tremendously concerned about what to do, and you are scared and anxious about how you will be properly compensated for your losses. These concerns are very common and very real. We are here to help you through this very difficult time. In order to prevail in your personal injury case, the first issue that must be proven is liability. In other words, you must show that someone else caused or is responsible for the accident which resulted in the damages and injuries suffered by you. One way you can establish liability is by proving that the defendant violated one of the Connecticut General Statutes relating to fault. One such statute in Connecticut is reckless driving. In Connecticut, no person shall operate any motor vehicle upon any public highway of the state or in any parking area for 10 cars or more or upon any private road on which a speed limit has been established or upon any school property recklessly having regard for the width, traffic, and use of such highway, road, school property, or parking area, the intersection of streets, and the weather conditions. The operation of a motor vehicle upon such highway, road, or parking area for 10 cars or more at a rate of speed greater than 85 miles an hour shall constitute a violation of this section. After being involved in a Connecticut car accident, you need to take a number of steps to strengthen the value of your claim, and there are a number of things you could do to harm your case. Find out what to do, and more importantly, what not to do, by ordering a copy of your free book, The Crash Course on Personal Injury Claims in Connecticut, today. Call us at 888-842-8466 or visit us online at www.hcwlaw.com. By properly developing your case from the start, you can increase the amount of money you can get for your injuries.